All right, hey everybody, uh, Paul here with Road Trip Transport. Today we're gonna do a short video. I'm gonna show you how I set up my trucks, why, what I would potentially do differently if I would add anything. And uh, yeah, if you're curious how we set up our trailers, it's probably a good starting point uh, for getting everything set up. So let's go ahead and uh, get into it here. So first off, let's go ahead and start with the, the obvious thing, straps. Uh, we carry 12 four inch regular flat hook straps. Okay, so you can see all 12 here. We got some newer ones, some older ones. 30 foot, okay? Do not skimp on these, go 30 foot. Do not buy 27 footers. We have a couple that I accidentally ordered and they're horrible. Uh, they're always too short. Get 30 foot, end of story. Don't even need to talk about that. Uh, these, I have two special straps. Now the reason why I have these, and we'll show you on the back of the trailer, but we run dovetails, and on the back of the trailer, the this rub rail here angles down. So these allow me to use these chain hooks and go onto that angle, and not have it pulling sideways like like these do with the flat hooks. Uh, it also allows me to hook in a couple different places where the flat hooks can't. So these are just kind of I, I have these. They've been useful. They've been used, obviously, and they double up as two extra four-inch straps if you need them. They you can just use them as regular straps. So ultimately we have 12 and two, we've got 14 total straps. We have 10 winches, okay? So I'm gonna show you what we do. So we have 10 winches, we have 14 straps, and we have four four inch ratchets. I got two two inch flat hook ratchets and two two inch chain hook ratchets. Now, I recommend you differentiate when you buy these things, you differentiate all of your different straps and ratchets by color. So each different type or length, you get by color. You can't tell which one of those. There's two of those that are 27 footers, and I'm telling you, I hate them. And which ones are them? Which ones are the 27 footers? You don't know. So, my point is, uh, if you're going to get different lengths or different types, differentiate them by color. It makes it really, really easy to to pick them out. Um, now, we also do carry four. We started with four. We decided to go with six. Uh, so we, you can see my two new ones and these are what they use. They used to be this color So we carry six four inch or I'm sorry six two inch straps uh, And six two inch ratchets. Those are just to have for spares um, and for extra and in and in certain certain circ yeah, certain circumstances they come in very very handy so all together um, now let me come back to these get four inch straps you're a trucking company not moving your lawnmower don't be hauling all sorts of crap with these two inch straps they're useful and they're good in certain occasions and you should have a few get four inch straps you're a truck driver not a lawn and garden specialist okay um so there we go there's there's our strap setup this is how we do it you can probably never have too many straps if you want a few extra um we found that this is this is about the perfect amount right here okay so now let's jump over into a couple of the other items that we're going to going to want. You need a winch bar. Uh, if you don't have a winch rail on your truck, again, you're not a lawn garden specialist, get a winch rail on your trailer. If you order one, put a winch rail on your trailer. I think it's an extra $150 upgrade. Can't afford it, don't hot shot. Uh, or don't do this, um, this is what I mean. Get a winch rail, get winches. They're so much easier. Uh, and then you'll need this winch bar for that. Uh, also, this is $10. Order this thing. It's a lifesaver. Uh, it clips to the side and it winds up your straps when you're done. Um, I do not store my straps, as you can tell. I do not store my straps on the uh, on the winch rail. And we'll, I'll show you the winch rail when we, when we get around to the other side. Um, I don't store them on it because I, I think they can be stolen. I don't like the look of it. Uh, and I won't throw my hook. Um, so this way I throw the loose end, I don't throw the hook end. If you've got them wrapped around your spools, you're throwing the hook end, it's dangerous. If somebody happens to be standing over there, you're gonna knock them out, if not kill them with this hook. Uh, don't be a noob, don't throw the hook end. Um, and so we take them off the rails and store them coiled up, which is why this comes in handy. Corner protectors, you're going to want at least two corner protectors per strap. We're short here, uh, they're cheap. Order a bunch of them. I've got to get some more for this trailer. I never did add more to this trailer. So again, we're coming back here. We got 12, 14, and six. We've got uh, 22, 22 straps. You want about 44, probably 48 is a good amount. I think they come in 48 to a box. 
about 48 of these. You'll lose them. You'll lose some of them um, over time. They're very cheap. Order them direct. Um, guys, if you're curious where to order them, I'm not going to recommend these guys. I'm just going to tell you where we get them from. Uh, it's on the strap, but it's uscargocontrol.com. They seem to be some of the good best prices, especially when ordering bulk. These four-inch straps cost like 11 bucks. This is why I'm saying be a truck driver, not a lawnmower service, okay? Um, have four-inch four inch straps should be your primary use. Um, coming back over here, we've got our these are you need to have these guys don't wear gloves it's just it's better for you you're not going to cut up your hands near as much these hardy gloves i love these things they're from uh, harbor freight and i think they cost like three dollars get you some nice little work gloves a hard hat and a vest and i don't have them down there so here you go set these down there hard hat vest and safety glasses okay you need to have your ppe and steel toe boots okay you need to have your ppe a lot of these places require PPE. My general rule of thumb and what I train my guys is when they show up on site, if they're wearing PPE, you put your PPE on. PPE for those of you guys, I know some people might not know, uh, personal protective equipment. So now we're gonna walk around. I didn't actually take them out. I'm gonna show you guys my chain and binder setup and what I would do differently with them. All right, I did not pull all these out because I had gotten them all situated in there and I didn't want to pull them all out and lay them out so as you can see my storage for my chain and binders is an underside box I really want to do better storage for these I don't like this the way it is um, I do have those they don't look like it but I have them stacked relatively well when I grab that top chain and pull it just that chain comes out but it's still really annoying um, they can get caught on each other every now and then but I, I don't have a chain and binder rack my next trailers will or I'll figure out a way to mount these on the truck I don't like them where they're at um, so I'm just tell you straight up I don't like them where they're at you want 3 8 chain and get at least 20 footers we made the mistake of getting some 16 footers they're too short and just like the straps get 20 foot at least on your chains there you, you run into the problem where you're short all the time so get 20 foot 3 8 chain and get your uh, I like these ratchets um, because I don't like the the lock ratchets that just lock, latch down. One, you know, when you use it the first time, then you have to undo it and pull another link on the chain and then do it, and they can come loose. I like these ratchet binders a lot, a lot better. Uh, again, I bought them from US Cargo Control. They're pretty cheap. So three eighths, a ch three eighths chain, at least twenty foot, and these uh, we run eight. We use eight binders and eight chains. We could probably utilize more, uh, but we get away with it for the most part. Because we're not really big enough, I'm not usually hauling more than two pieces of equipment. And if I am hauling two pieces of equipment, I can get away with two chains and two binders on each one because they're under 10,000 pounds. And DOT regs say you don't need four independent points of contact on any equipment under 10,000 pounds. If I have any pieces of equipment over 10,000 pounds, it's usually just one. But you could get some more chains and binders. I think that that might be, um, but that's what we run with. We make do with it. Um, sometimes I wish we had a couple more, but that it is what it is. All right, the next thing we're gonna talk about is these. I carry these, we don't get a huge amount of use out of them. Would I recommend them? Uh, maybe, if you guys want to. These are kind of optional. What this is, is it's a short little lasso strap, okay? See the ring on there? And then a, and then a binder with the chain on it. And what these allow us to do is lasso strap the tires down on cars or, or small trucks. It's like pickup trucks and things like that. We have used them, obviously, but we don't use them a whole lot. I carry eight, enough for two vehicles. I don't, I don't dink around. I use four straps on every vehicle. Um, and we have used them. I, I would say, yes, I'm going to keep them on the truck, but they don't get a, a lot of use. Most of what we do is freight. And the last thing is our tarp. So we, I subscribe to a little bit of a different uh, mentality on this. We run small tarps. These are 16 foot, 16 foot, six foot drop lumber tarps. So they have the flap in the front and back. They, they weigh 67 pounds each. Uh, and then we have these, these cheap packing blankets. We use these to protect the corners on sharp, uh, sharp, uh, I, um, what am I trying to say? Sharp edges from cutting our tarps. I would recommend about 
eight to 12 of these tarps per, or of these uh, blankets per, per truck. Uh, I think we carry eight and I sometimes do use all eight of them. So we carry eight of these and then we carry two of these. Now, one thing I am thinking about adding for those is one six foot drop, 20 foot long steel tarp. So it does not have the flap and that would allow us to cover a load from front to back on this trailer. Um, I don't like the big eight foot drops. I don't take any loads that require an eight foot drop because I think it's unsafe for my guys to be climbing on top of, of eight to 10 foot tall uh, pieces of equipment trying to throw 120 pound tarps up there. Just don't agree with it. We don't take those loads. End of story. I just, it's it's unsafe. We'll leave those to the Mercers and the and the Primes and those. They can take those eight foot drop uh, loads. We just don't pass on enough of them to make it worth it. So those are the tarps we use and that's my reasoning behind it. Like I said, we may add one and oh, a key thing is color coding. My next tarp, if I do that, it'll probably be blue and a reason being, then I can tell which tarp is which. We'll have two 16 foot, six foot drop lumber tarps, one steel, and you can tell which one's which when they're all rolled up like this. Uh, you're also gonna want bungee cords. We use 21 inch bungees. They seem to be all we need. I don't I don't need any longer or shorter lengths. And we carry two boxes, so we carry a hundred of them. Uh, Cause you're gonna snap some and, and lose some over time. But uh, so we carry a hundred of the bungees. I carry them on the box here. Um, we're still trying to figure out some storage some better ways to store some of this stuff uh, because, and let me flip this around so you guys can see me. So that's pretty much how we do it. Um, like I was saying, we don't have the best storage yet because all of our equipment is stored on our trailers. And we store all of our equipment on our trailers uh, for one simple reason, you guys know it, we rent our trucks. And I want to minimize having to move equipment from one truck, uh, from one truck to another truck. So I try to put all of our belongings on the trailer. So we're still trying to figure out um, how to best set up our trailers. Uh, that's another thing I didn't talk about, guys. Let's go look at this. I'll flip around. Um, dunnage. We do carry dunnage. Uh, I've never bought a piece of dunnage. We started off with none, and we slowly accumulated. Every one of my trailers now has dunnage. We just keep it from from loads that required and asks if we see some laying around we'll ask for some i've never bought any dunnage so this is how we store it right now i use i sacrifice one chain and binder if i need that chain and binder then i'll move, use a strap uh to strap these down uh but the next trailer we have will have dunnage racks so i did learn we're not going to do this anymore we're gonna have dunnage racks and we're gonna have a better way to store our chains and we're gonna try to do it all on the trailers because again our trucks are rentals so these trucks get traded in frequently. I don't want to have a bunch of equipment. I'd like for them to be able to basically unhook the trailer and only have personal equipment in the trucks for the most part. So there you go. Quick overview on how we set up our, our hotshot rigs. Thanks for watching.